Good morning, sunshine. It's 7 p.m., but good morning, sunshine. What's up there, everyone? Welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to uh, talk about the smart way, or at least what I consider to be the smart way to work out. So before I will share what the smart way to work out is, there are two things that I want to make very clear. First of all, this is not a video about how to lose weight. And what I mean with that is that I'm not going to go into certain exercises or, or uh, you know, certain diets or whatever. This is not a video about that. This instead is a video about a way of thinking that I actually want to share. However, this way of thinking, because uh, everything starts you know, from your head out first. Uh, so it is really fundamental actually to have a different kind of view sometimes uh, to then tackle certain things on. So even if you're looking to lose weight, I think it's really important to start with your mind first. And hopefully this video can actually influence your way of thinking and seeing working out in a different kind of light. And the last thing that I wanna make clear is I know that Corona is still around us and that it is making things more difficult in a way that it's making things more restricted. Things are still closed or more things are still closed than normally. Despite Corona or not, this way of thinking, this knowledge is something that you can already have in your mind now and that you can already ass assess, you know, to use further on when things get a bit more normal, for example. And I just wanted to make that clear because I... I I, I'm pretty sure there otherwise will be people who will put into comments uh, and make Corona an excuse to say like, ah, oh, you know, it's not possible to do this now. It is possible because again, it's a way of thinking that I'm actually uh, wanting to share here. So what is the smart way to work out? It's actually uh, something very simple uh, that I want to share here. And sometimes very simple things or very little things can result in big changes and well, hopefully this can be one of those. So most people who go to the gym or who go running primarily do it to build muscles or to get in shape. Most people, right? Most people, that's the number one reason why they do those things. That to me is not the smart way to work out. <clears throat> the smart way to work out is that if that is simply the byproduct of something else. Getting muscles and getting in shape should be number two. Number one should be something very different. Number one should be fun. And I know this sounds like, okay, but hear me out. For me, I go, I boulder if I can every day. <laughs> I don't think if I would hate bouldering or if I would, you know, not like it as much as I do, that I would have the same amount of muscles or that I would be in this kind of shape. And that's for most people, I think, the case when their number one reason is simply to have muscles or to be in shape. I think that's not a good motivation. I think if the motivation is that you just like to do it, it's going to be so much more of a motivator to do the sport, to do the activity, than if it's just only to get in shape and to build muscles. And the whole point why I wanted to make this video and sort of share this way of thinking to have fun, number one, and to have, uh, you know, getting in shape and building muscles just uh, being a byproduct, to, less, to, to have that less of a focus, um, is because it's ridiculously healthy to move your body. And it's something that we, we, we don't do too much, actually, in our, in our day and, you know, age that we are currently in. So many jobs are just where you have to sit on a chair. Um, you know, we're, we're so much sitting, you know, in a car, at work. Oftentimes when people feel unhappy or even depressed, if they would have more movement in their body, it can change everything in their life. You know, the benefits of moving your body are ridiculous. They are, there's so many benefits to it. Um, you know, you have the benefits that it releases endorphins, which are the hormones that naturally make you feel good. It helps with memory, so it's good for your brain, it's good for your heart, it reduces heart disease. 
um, diseases. It's also good actually for dealing with loneliness, I would say, because many sports involve at least people around you. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a team sport, right? Like with bouldering, I can perfectly go and do it alone. But when I go to a boulder gym, there are people at least around me. And that alone is a great and healthy thing. And you can decide. I mean, I can decide to chat with people or not. Um, and oftentimes, you know, you do it with other people, with friends. I go bouldering with my cousin all the time. So there's an interaction of, of, of yeah, of connection with people. And it's so healthy to have that. Uh, it is. It can also be great, actually, to if you're struggling with an addiction, for example, because it gives another purpose in your life. And all those benefits, you can have all of them so easily if your number one reason why you are moving your body is because it's fun, because you love to do it, and not because of actually all those reasons. You know, and as well, if the sport that you do, like my cousin, for example, we go climbing a lot together. We also have our own climbing wall or a bouldering wall, at least. He, in the past, and if you're watching, you know, cousin over there, love you a lot. He, in the past, used to have more weight. And it was actually because of bouldering, falling in love with bouldering and just finding it a very fun sport to do that he actually lost a lot of weight because he was doing it so much because he liked to do it. And as well, you're gonna feel much more motivated to want to do something for something that you find fun instead of, of for something that you just feel is like an obligation or something that you must do. Because he actually wanted to go on a diet and, and eat better because having less weight actually helps a lot with climbing. If he had less weight, he could have more fun because he could climb harder, could do di more difficult routes. And this is just the whole thing. If fun is number one, everything that most people are kind of wanting to have uh, from working out will just naturally happen. There will be a sport like that for you as well. There are thousands of sports. There are literally thousands of sports. As well, there's a lot of variations of sports, right? You know, you have with climbing, you have lead climbing, uh, but then you have bouldering. Uh, but then you have also alpinism or mountaineering, uh, but then you also have ice climbing. So that's all in, in the climbing area or in the climbing field, but they're all very different actually. Uh, same with yoga, you have so many different yoga styles like acro yoga for example, it's one that I've done that I really loved a lot. Uh, or, or with running, you know, a lot of people just think of running to go jogging. And for a lot of people might, that might be quite boring actually. But there's so many different kind of styles or ways of running. You know, if trail running, for example, or you can actually, maybe for some it's more interesting, more fun when they can also, you know, do like marathons or triathlons to actually have a higher goal. Uh, that could be actually more fun for some people than just go running alone because it sets a higher purpose. There's sports like snowboarding where you could be like, yeah, I gotta go to the mountains, but I don't live in mountains. You can also go snowboarding indoors, for example, right? And you can do that through most of the time. And then when the season is right, you can go outside and snowboard there. Uh, but then there's other sports like like motocross, I think is one that a lot of people don't think about. Kayaking, I think is an awesome sport that I actually really want to get into. Uh, that you can do alone, that you can do with other people, that you can do for one day, that you can do for multiple days. Diving, I think, you know, that's also a super fun sport. Uh, rugby, paintball or airsoft, uh, skateboarding, surfing, or as well, you know, a striking sport like Thai box or Jiu Jitsu. The benefit of that too is that it can also be super fun and that you actually learn a skill that is practical. You know, it's, it's quite practical to learn how to defend yourself. That's something that you can use, if necessary, of course, in life. That's actually why I did Thai box for a lot of years, because of that order. Because I thought it was really fun, uh, and I found it a really useful skill to know, actually. And then I also got in shape and built muscles because of that. In the description, I will put a link with a list of uh, sports where you can just go through to get some ideas and to start thinking 
about the many more possibilities of sports there are. Uh, we'll also put a link uh, of some of the health benefits that sporting has uh, or moving your body has. If you're interested, check that out. Uh, and other than that, if you like this video, put a thumbs up, subscribe for other videos in the future. And uh, thank you for watching. Ja, det är klart. Jag tycker att sådana...